Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we are getting a recipe from one of my favorite cookbooks. That's the recipe. And this cookbook is called Weimar's Institute New Start Lifestyle Cookbook. Yeah, I bought it a few months ago and it has really nice recipes. I like the way they also give alternatives. And yeah, so this is the recipe. They're called Johnny corn crackers and i'm taking them with some tomato sauce it's homemade i'll give a link in the description of how you can make them so to our ingredients we have corn flour um if you have yellow corn flour the better it will give it a sweet taste i'm using the one i have currently here we have rolled oats um very high in fiber we have desiccated coconut or shredded coconut and here we have salt. We're using Himalayan salt. Yeah, so those are our dry, dry ingredients. <laughs> yeah, here we have sultanas. You can use raisins or raisins. Yeah, whatever they are called. <laughs> the recipe is calling for raisins and that's what I used. Here we have hot water in our blender jug. And those are our only ingredients. You can choose to add honey or jaggery to sweeten. That depends upon you. So I'm adding, I've added my raisins in water. The hot water in the blender, I'll cover. Um, I've failed to put the cover there because I'm afraid it's hot. So yeah, I've blended lightly. They have not completely blended, but at least they have been disintegrated a little so that the sweetness can diffuse to the water i'll put this aside and i'll begin by mixing my dry ingredients so here they are i'll get a bowl there and i'll begin by adding my corn flour mm. if you have dry jaggery you can add it at this point as well but if you're using honey, uh, you can add it together with the raisins while blending. So I've added my raisin, my um, rolled oats and my shredded coconut. Yeah, and lastly, to our salt. Salt just balances the tastes. And I'm mixing it evenly. When you mix like this, you're assured that the shredded coconut, the Himalayan salt, they have mixed evenly with the equal parts of um, the corn flour and the raisins. So I'm adding my liquid mixture and mix this thoroughly as you're seeing me doing. So I'm mixing and I'm, allow, I'm allowing this to sit for close to three four minutes as i prepare my cooking sheet or my parchment paper where i'm going to bake them so here we go here is the parchment paper so i'm going to use a spoon you can use an ice cream scoop as well but i'm going to use a spoon to shape this in form of cookies and put them here in the in the sheet like this yeah and this will go to the oven at a temperature of 350 degrees fahrenheit for 45 minutes and this is how they're looking afterwards they are crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside they have a sweet margarine taste i think it's thanks to the coconut and i'm going to use a homemade tomato sauce to take them um, here they are it's a recipe I will recommend it's very nice for people who are not so much of a sweet tooth if you like this recipe please give it a thumbs up tell me what you think about it remember to be a channel of light wherever the Lord has placed you yeah and remember when you eat when you drink and everything you do do it all to the glory of God that is from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. I will love to get your feedback concerning this recipe. Otherwise, have yourself a blessed Wednesday. Bye.